Hey, what's up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to share how to create a vector ribbon by using Illustrator today. I want to share how to create this one by using Illustrator CC. As a graphic designer, you must know how to create this awesome and pretty cool vector ribbon for your design. Before starting this video, I cordially request to watch my previous videos. There are lots of basic to advanced level tutorials on Photoshop and Illustrator in my YouTube channel. So let's get started and also recommend I also recommend you to subscribe to my channel and if you get uh, benefited please like comment share more and more with your friends so let's get started I want to share how to create this four ribbons all together this is pretty cool and awesome and first of all close the field and open the escrow use the pen tool to draw a shape on the walking area i think this is very easy to create this shape after selecting this one you have to increase the stroke from here now i have got for pt and click on stroke and use this that's it now selecting this one you have to copy another one like this by using also key from your keyboard by pressing the left button of your mouse pointer that's it now zoom in a little bit create a great design and also select this one for the direct selection tool and select this pointer minimize a little bit and select this one that's it now get an anchor point from here click on go to the direct selection tool that's it now use the pen tool click on here and get another point from here that's it. Now you have to select this one all together and group by the right button of your mouse pointer and go to the transform by pressing the right button of your mouse pointer again and reflect this one and copy that's it is the right button from your keyboard let's join it all together and select this one all together you have to group by pressing the right button of your mouse pointer and that's it it has been a group Create another one by pressing the right uh, left button of your mouse pointer. Now select this one, go to the effect menu and wrap. Arc from here, you can increase the percent of band. I'm using 33%. You can use this whatever you like. And don't need to change from here. You can use this style from here, or, or lower, or upper, or button, etc. And that's it. Now I like to click on OK. 
These are two shapes I have created easily. I strongly believe that if you want to be a professional graphic designer, you can do it easily. Okay, now I like to create these two shapes. How to do it? Now click on here. Fill is open, stroke is close. Go to the rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle by pressing the left button of your mouse pointer. And create a copy by pressing also. Change the color. And it will be upper by pressing the left button of your mouse pointer, arrange, bring to front, now select this one and go to the direct selection tool. First of all, you have to click on add anchor point from here. Click the middle point. That's it. Go to the deluxe selection tool and start a little bit like this. That's it. Now you have to select this shape and go to the object menu and click on path offset path and you have to select for preview that's it okay and there are two shapes one is inner and second one is outer you have to select outer and this one select all together by pressing the the button of your mouse pointer and go to the pathfinder menu and click on the minus part that's it and increase this one now select this one by using direct selection tool add like this and also Click on polygonal tool. Come on here, this one will be three. Draw a triangle. That's it. Send the color. Minimize this one. Rotate by pressing the left button of your mouse pointer. Keep it here and decrease a little bit. And I would like to zoom in by pressing the left button of the mouse pointer and go to the direct selection tool. Select this by pressing the left button of your mouse pointer. That's it. And that's okay. Zoom out by pressing the spacebar shift all together and also also 
and join this one by pressing the that button of your mouse pointer and group it in the right button and this one has been approved now select this one and click the right button of your mouse pointer go to the transform and click on the right button of the left copy unclick the right button or right arrow key on the mouse from the keyboard and that's it zoom out join all together group this one is an awesome vector even and you have to copy by pressing the alt and go to the effect menu wrap click on the R you can increase percent from here like this and that's it okay, okay. I have created four ribbons easily by using Illustrator. You can do it by using any types of version of Illustrator. You can save this ribbon whatever you like according to your shape or design. If you want to be a professional or unique graphic designer, I strongly recommend you. There is no shortcut way without practicing. So, three things are very important. Practice, practice and practice. Thanks for watching my video. If you get, if you think this video is very helpful, just only for you, please leave a like, comment, share and more and more. And if you don't subscribe to my channel, I would really request to subscribe just now and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks once again.